Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a channel update for you all. Um, first off, as always, thank you so much, everybody, for the ongoing love and support, for the people who like, who share my videos, who comment below, I mean seriously, and who, who comment nicely. I don't need more people calling me a, a jackass and telling me I've got little bitch hands, although uh, that one's gotten funny, I'll admit. But nonetheless, I mean, thank you so much, everybody there. Also, thank you very much to my Patreon patrons who make this channel possible, and to the people who offer to loan and donate gear. I mean, you, you're all gems, and I really do appreciate appreciate the very strange role that you all have come into play in my life. It's it's absolutely wonderful. Uh, but anyways, I got a couple of updates I wanted to talk about real quick, and so let's let's jump into it. Um, to start with, I am probably a couple of weeks away from hitting 50,000 subscribers, which, mind you, is about 49,999 more than I ever expected to have. So um, that that's pretty cool. Um, I've got some ideas as to how we can celebrate that. Um, I'm working on that one. But nonetheless, um, yeah, there you go. Um, I... <laughs> Thank you. Again, that's, I guess, all I can say there. Next thing, um, big news in my own personal life. As many of you guys know, I am located in the Michigan, uh, which is in the, the, the U.S. of the A, uh, the, with the mitten. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm about here in the, the, the mitten there. Um, and the uh, the thing is, I, I like it here, but I'm not all that smitten with the mitten. And uh, I have just gotten a, a very, very, very good job, what basically amounts to a dream job for me in my world, in my field. Um, and that job is bringing me to scenic San Diego, California. That's right, California love, baby. Um, so, uh, anyways, all the Tupac references aside, um, this is going to be a huge step up for me in my, my personal career, and frankly, just an absolutely beautiful thing for, for the wife as well. Uh, that's right, she's the wife, in case you missed that one. But anyways, um, this means, uh, the, the reason I'm announcing this is two things. Um, the, to start with, my P.O. box is going to be changing. So any of you guys who just send gear randomly, um, you're going to want to get uh, hit me up for a new P.O. box. That's going to be a thing. Um, and it also means the actually, although a lot of people are say, oh my god, California, he can't review anything anymore. Actually, practically speaking, the knife laws in San Diego were not uh, much different from here. In fact, they were slightly less restrictive in most ways. Pardon me, the only area where the laws there were more restrictive is that I can't have any automatics over two inches anyways. And considering that uh, I didn't have any automatics at all until October of last year and I got along fine, I'm pretty okay with that. And there's some nice under two inch automatics here. Protex Sprint, by the way. But uh, hence the series of California legal automatic reviews. Uh, that should be a beautiful thing. But um, this job is also going to take up a little bit more of my time, which actually brings me to my next point here. And don't worry, guys, I'm not going away. Um, but uh, what I am going to be doing is, as I'm finding myself lacking time, I'm going to shift my focus a little bit more here. Um, as I've had, you know, I've got more and more wonderful offers than I have ever had, but I also have less time than ever to address them in. I mean, lately has been busy with, you know, weddings, honeymoons, Scotland, by the way, full review coming up shortly. Um, as well as just preparing for a new job and then starting a new job. That's going to be a whole different world. Um, but uh, So I have all this wonderful gear around and less time than ever to spend on it. And, you know, for a long time, this is a market departure because for a long time, I would review pretty much anything that came across my table. Like if it ended up there, whether due to a loan, whether due to a donation, whether due to some company sending it to me for free, like, yeah, sure, good, great, bad, and ugly, let's have a look. And that, 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 that was great in a lot of ways, and I really really do at some level wish I could keep it up. And in fact, some people wish that too. And in fact, some people have developed an expectation. Um, there is a genre of emails I get that are just, I, I can only describe as like angry requests where people are like, Nick, how have you not reviewed this particular pocket knife yet? How, how do you not have a review of the Alpen Flame EF2832 in the half serrated blade? How dare you? I'd like, yeah, I, I get it. I'd, I'd love to see that review too, but yeah. Um, so anyways, uh, that, that, that's my prior uh, kind of reviewing a bunch of things, and I've reviewed a bunch of things, has led to this expectation. But the thing is, this channel is not an encyclopedia. No channel is. And frankly, I'm realizing that even at full tilt, if I quit my day job and had access to all the gear in the world, I just couldn't keep up. I couldn't carry enough knives in the week. I, I, we Knives releases more knives every week than I can carry every week. I mean, it's, it's kind of nuts. And so this is a part of why I've been doing things like the Knife Gripe series on Knife News, which is still up, by the way, although it's finished up now, um, as well as my knife, uh, my excellent pocket knife checklist here, which is uh, a lot of damage, but uh, right over here. 
You can get it at nickshabazz.com slash checklist. Uh, but these are kinds of things that you can bring with you to a store. You can look online and just, and that'll help you maybe get a sense, especially if you're new to the knife game. Uh, you know, this is going to be worth a damn. This might not be worth your time. But anyways, I've tried to do a little bit more of that. But the thing is, this is not my day job. It never has been. Um, what it has been is my weekend job. I mean, in fact, nearly every weekend, pretty much all the Saturday and a good chunk of Sunday has been dedicated to the channel. And I've used, you know, evenings and breaks at work for social media for it. I mean, it's great, but right now it's just not super sustainable. And the problem with uh, with it is that as I get more loans, particularly, uh, the piled up gear can be a very weird kind of stress. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm a lucky man. I don't want to sound like, oh God, woe is me. My life is... No, that's not what I'm saying here. Um, It's just the fact that I want to get things back to their rightful owners. I want to get things moved along and I want to move on to other interesting things. Um, And so I'm realizing more and more that they've got to catch them all sort of approach, although great for Pokemon is not great for my sanity, however tenuous that is. And so what this means is that I'm going to be a little bit more choosy from here on out. Uh, my goal in my new pattern, and this has been my pattern for the last few months anyways, has been to really focus my efforts where I expect there to be gems. Um, you know, a good miner, like miner is in somebody with a pickaxe rather than miner is in somebody under 18. I don't particularly care what they do. Um, but they're, they're choosy about the ground. If you decide, I'm going to be a gold miner, you don't walk out of the, out your front door in a suburban, you know, development and start digging. No, that's a bad approach. If you, you look at the area, you figure out, okay, if I dig here, it's really likely I'm going to hit diamonds or rubies or gold or whatever the heck you're looking for. Molybdenum. Sure, go for molybdenum. But I, I my goal here is to be a little choosier about the ground that I'm looking at. To, 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 to be a little more careful about what comes across my table so that when I am spending the time to review something, it's more likely to be excellent. And so I'm going to use a bunch of criteria. I mean, some of it I already do. Like if I see a knife and I, I love it, I'm like, oh yeah, I want that. And I, I get it on my table. I'm also favoring increasingly unique, new, and interesting gear. I mean, look, uh, another gray-handled frame lock with a harpoon blade this time is cool, but it's also not at the front of my list. Same thing with like steel changes. Like, wow, they put out a Spyderco PM2 and some other weird steel. I mean, that's cool, but it's not super interesting. I'm more interested in things like this. This is the Demco Knives AD15, which uses an entirely different locking mechanism than anything else, and actually turns out to be really, really compelling. Um, we'll, we'll talk about that one later in the in the full review, but I'm really interested in finding more weird, interesting, different, unusual gear, because that can very often be interesting, and at the very least, I can learn from it. I'm, I'm also interested in gear that I'm curious about well outside my comfort zone, because I don't want to get locked into the box that I I've put myself in. You know, this guy is not an Ixia Baz knife, classically speaking. It's gigantic, it's uh, overbuilt, etc. It still cuts, though. But anyways, um, so I'm really trying to kind of keep uh, keep an eye on that. I mean, a great example of this is the Hinderer Full Track. Uh, this is Rick Hinderer Knives. They have released this new knife, or at least they, they've announced it, that has uh, three different approaches. You can have it running on phosphor bronze, Teflon, or bearings in the exact same knife, and you can keep the other washers on the inside of the knife, and the tool is built into the back spit like guys... God, do I want that? That's new, it's weird, it's unique, and I want it on my table, like, freaking now. So the moment they're available, yeah, you'll see one here. But I'm also going to be using things like recommendations. I have a number of trusted friends in and outside the knife community who, who, who just, I, I know their taste. Like a buddy of mine said at Blade Show, Nick, you got to check out the mini glimpse. It's pretty awesome. So I said, yes, I do, and I had him buy it for me, and so there you go. Um, Things like uh, recommendations from Patreon patrons. Um, You know, that's one of the ways that I can kind of give them uh, some joy is, you know, let I have a section patrons pick for the Nick, where they choose what I what I uh, you know pick up, what I carry, etc. They're, they're the reason I'm going to be wearing a Mickey Mouse watch here pretty soon. <laughs> Double edged sword that one, but still. And then also recommendations just from random jackasses, particularly random jackasses in groups. I mean, if one guy says, "Oh, I want to see a review of the Alpen Alpen Heap," you know, HD twenty eight three four eight nine two nine. Yeah, there was a niner in there. Um, th th that's cool, but if 15 people ask me for that, I'm more likely to go for that. Um, so anyways, there you go. I'm also really interested in finding new companies that are doing really exceptional work. Um, these are the people that are, like, for instance, North Arm Knives is a good example of this. Um, they're, they're not that many people had heard of them or worked with them, but it turns out they're making incredible knives, and so I want to find those folks. A whole Blade Works is another example of this. Incredible, incredible work. Review of that is coming, actually, very, very soon. Um, uh, uh, booze blades, Monta watches, all kinds of different people who are willing to do really good stuff and who you probably haven't heard of. 
There are a million reviews in New ZD. There may not be for these folks. So I'm probably going to try and set up, you know, ways to find good small companies, that kind of thing. Also, you know, I'll look at products that make a, new, a big new splash. You know, the, the brand new ZD model. Yeah, I'm going to check that out just because, you know, yeah, brand new things from like a Spyderco, the Kershaw, the exciting releases. Yeah, absolutely. I'll check that out. And, you know, also I want to focus more on designers and companies that I, I suspect that are going to be worth a damn. Um, Rather than just kind of accepting anything that people are willing to send along. There have been way too many mediocre knives sent my way that only end up on the table because they're free. And it's like I'm looking at them like, yeah, it's going to be mediocre. And indeed they were. And that's, I don't know, that feels like a bit of a waste of time. And I've already been doing this to an extent. I've been turning down gear where I see like huge glaring flaws immediately. Sometimes somebody will send me something and not for like a stealth review. I'm still happy to do those, but uh, where, where they want like a full review and I'm just looking at it like, God, look at the, look, look at the huge design flaw there. God, yeah, do you not see this? And then, then I pointed out to them like, no, that's a, that's a feature. Like, no, it's not you idiot. <laughs> Anyways, I don't say that part, but still I'm, I'm also turning down uh, more, more and more freebies. I'm paring down on kind of gambles, particularly from untrusted brands. People ask me, you know, all the time, Nick, oh, this new micro brand has this great new lineup of 18 different knives, and I, I've heard they're really cool. Like, yeah, I'd love to do that, but I, I just don't, I don't have the time there. I'd rather focus on somebody I know is going to be good, or at least I strongly suspect, rather than just testing the waters there. And I've even gone so far as to ban some companies that are just shipping a lot of crap, where it's just like, for instance, Stedimon, you will never see on my channel again. I'm done. And Vuking and all of their various subsidiaries, they, 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 they're just selling bad knives, so I'm not even ever going to bother with them. And, you know, also when companies are being inconsistent, they slip lower in my list. There have been companies where it's just like, okay, a lot of people are getting a lot of really so-so knives off of you. I, I don't feel the need to spend the time anyways. So I've been doing this to an extent, but yeah, this is a thing. Partly, I think this is to improve the channel. Um, because, you know, when I'm saying things like, you know, a boring review is like, yep, you look at it, the frame one, uh, this is probably going to be bad, and hey, look, it's bad. I mean, that's fine, you know, but uh, that's not the kind of review I'm most interested in. I'm more interested in, this is amazing, and you may not have heard about it. Like, this kind of thing. Like, you don't know, you probably don't suspect that this is incredible, but it really, really is. And here's why. Those are more fun. I'd rather be a place that you go to find out about real great gear than a, a place to go to find out that, yeah, that mediocre looking gear is pretty mediocre. Um, and partly, this is for my own tenuous sanity, because I want to carry and use great gear. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I want to be looking at gear that I'm enthusiastic about, that I'm passionate about, that I'm curious about, or that just is, like, tickling my fancy. Well, even if it's something that, like, I know that this probably isn't for me, but I really want to try, that, that those are the kinds of things I'm interested in. I am tired of carrying poor tools just to confirm that they they are poor tools. I mean, a freaking, you know, Kershaw Emerson is like, yeah, okay, it's a Emerson that's built like a Kershaw. Well, I guess they all are. But anyways, that, that, that's not my focus here. I want to spend more time focusing on longer use. I want to spend more time focusing on interesting gear, and I want to spend less time, you know, okay, I got to power through this knife that I'm really interested in talking more about so I can get on to the next gray frame lock. This one's got a harpoon blade. Hooray. That's not my style. So, um, that's kind of where I'm going with things. Now, I want to make a couple of things clear here, and I'm sorry, this is going on a little ways, but it's a thing. Um, I, this doesn't mean that I'm going to stop giving negative reviews. Do not believe that. Um, in fact, nothing is more mu uh, useful in my mind that from a reviewer than a truthful review of something that looks like it's going to be great, but actually surprisingly isn't. Those, are to, to, to me, what, uh, when I dodge a bullet, when there's something where it's like, wow, this has every indication of excellence, but indeed it sucks, that's where I really enjoy and appreciate a review. Um, and I will always be giving you the good, the great, the bad, and the ugly, or whatever's coming across my table. Um, uh, because there is always good, great, bad, and, well, there's usually ugly, too. Um, and that's that's just a simple fact. It also doesn't mean I'm going to be abandoning budget gear. Don't hear this as, no, I'm going up, fuck it. No, that's not my interest. I love nothing more than finding great gear at really good values. That's, that's absolutely excellent. This pen, for instance... Uh, the, the, the Machine Era, this guy's in my pocket today. Machine Era Classic Pen is actually relatively inexpensive and pretty damned excellent. So, you know, those kinds of things, I, I, I definitely want to keep going there. 
And, uh, you know, yeah, so, uh, and I'm not also, by the way, don't feel like, oh, no, he's not going to talk about Z-Hunt this anymore. No, I'll find time for the true crap. But it's the mediocrity that I'm kind of done with here. Uh, and just going to be a little more choosy, like I said, focusing on finding the gems rather than confirming that dirt is dirt. And bringing you guys, ideally, more hits than misses, more gems than junk, because my sanity, whatever extent it's there, is, at least to me, slightly valuable. I'm also hoping to use the time that this frees up to do some more new things, more video on kind of categories that I love. A lot of people ask me to do things, because like, I used to do videos like, you know, Nick's take on Spyderco knives. Like, I'd love to do Nick's take on Rayot knives, Todd Beck, those kinds of things, and spend a little bit more time on those kinds of things. More ideas about philosophy, like, I think a great video would be why carry a flashlight? Why do you wear a watch in 2018 when your cell phone works just fine? What kind of freaking nutter is spending four times the cost of a cell phone and a watch? Eh, this kind, sadly. More deep dives in specific areas, trying to find greatest small businesses, great uh, budget gear. And I want to keep doing charitable sorts of raffles where I, where, where people, uh, you know, make donations. The donation raffles I've done before, I'm going to keep doing that. And the, uh, part of the, the, the taking in freebie gear is great because that allows, because frankly, that's the most important thing this channel does. But anyways, yeah, so all of that is kind of the state of the Shabazz. I am doing really well. I, I, I Life is going very well. I'm about to get Californicated. Um... That, yeah, that didn't come out right, but whatever. Um, and, and I'm gonna continue being busy as heck, but I am still loving the channel. I'm still having a lot of fun, and I'm gonna be a little bit more choosy from here out just to make sure that I'm still loving the channel and that I'm still having fun and that I'm bringing you guys the gems that you're really interested in rather than focusing on the junk that you probably already know is junk. So there you go. Hope this has been interesting to you, and uh, <laughs> feel free to, uh, I don't know, leave any comments, thoughts, whatever in the, <laughs> the comments below. That's what the comments field is for, guys. I'm just, look, I'm, I'm jet lagged here. Just got back from the honeymoon. My, my head ain't where it needs to be. But uh, there, there, there it is. Um, I hope this has been interesting to you. Have yourselves just an absolutely wonderful rest of the day, and I hope you continue enjoying the channel and uh, that this continues to bring you joy. And uh, yeah, have a good one, everybody. Bye now.